Hello, my name is John Oates, Wireless System Manager at Analog Devices. Today, I would like to talk to you about ORAN, our latest open radio unit, and how we test it with Keysight's ODU emulator and Open RAN Studio. This particular ORU platform is a joint effort from Analog Devices, Intel, and Wiz Systems, which delivers a complete ORAN compliant ORU with 7.2 baseband split. The platform provides customers with a head start designing 5G radio units for the ORAN ecosystem, easing the design burden and reducing time to market. The radio unit is comprised of two partitions, the band agnostic small signal radio and a connectorized RF front end, designed to be easily changed for band and power variants. The small signal radio includes ADI's latest Radioverse transceiver, the ADRV9029, and our latest 7.2x Lo-Fi IP, running on an Intel Area 10 FPGA. The ADRV9029 is a 4T4R RF transceiver with two observation paths and integrated DFE functions including CFR and DPD, operating from 600 MHz to 6 GHz. The ADRV9029 supports occupied bandwidths up to 200 MHz and transmits synthesis and observation bandwidths up to 450 MHz for DPD operation. System clocking, PTP, IEEE 1588, and synchronous Ethernet are provided by the FPGA and supported by the AD9545 clock chip. The power architecture takes advantage of the silent switcher technology included in the LTC7150S and the LTC3315 to ensure excellent noise and EMI performance. The RF front end supports both CBRS and C-band operation from 3.3 to 4 gigahertz with 5 watt plus output power per transmit channel and includes the ADRF5515, a 20 watt dual channel receiver front end with integrated LNA and high power switches. To test the ORAN compliance and 3GPP capabilities of our ORU, the Keysight ODU emulator and Open RAN Studio software is used together with Keysight signal analyzer and sources. Open RAN Studio provides ORAN compliant control, user, and synchronization plane messaging over the eSIPRI front hall, which is a fiber optic ethernet link operating at 10 gigabits per second. 3GPP compliant 5G NR waveforms are first generated with Keysight Signal Studio Pro 5G NR. Open RAN Studio allows us to build C, U and S plane messages with the waveform for transmission over the downlink front hall. Various parameters can be adjusted to test the support, conformance, and interoperability of our ORU with various ODU vendors. Parameters such as component carriers, subcarrier spacing, antenna stream count, TDD configuration, delay management, CU plane transport, digital power scaling, beam forming, IQ compression, and S plane are some examples of what we can adjust. The ORAN architecture requires various synchronization needs, which include precision timing protocol, PTP, and SyncE, which is synchronous Ethernet. The ORUs are separated from the ODU and OCU, so timing and phase must be aligned for TDD and FDD signals. In this demo, we test out our front hall S-plane messages by turning on IEEE 1588 V2 PTP. We've set the ODU as PTP master and our ORU will, will receive PTP packets and process them in the timestamp unit to maintain proper synchronization. Once timing and synchronization is achieved, we can transmit over the user plane. Here, we are showing one stream or EAXC containing a 100 MHz 5G and R component carrier. The data rate throughput in this case is 3000 megabits per second over the front hall. Next, we turn on block floating point IQ compression and watch as the front hall data rate drops to 1800 megabits per second for the same component carrier bandwidth. Moving on to RF conformance testing, we can view the output of our ORU in the 3.5 GHz spectrum to maintain power efficiency while meeting spectral emissions, CFR and DPD are employed. Typical OFDM peak to average power ratio is on the order of 12 dB. Using the integrated crest factor reduction in the ADRV9029 allows us to lower the PAPR down to 8 dB before entering the power amplifier. 
This allows us to operate the power amplifier in a more efficient region closer to its OP1 dB, thus saving on power. The distortion generated by operating the PA near saturation can be corrected by the integrated digital pre-distortion engine in the ADR-V9029. Together, the CFR and DPD engines provide in-band flatness, spectral emissions, ACLR, and EVM improvements for the transmitter. This ORU reference platform is just one of many from analog devices that cover FR1 and FR2 bands, ranging from small cells to massive MIMO configurations. Thanks for watching. For more information on any of ADI's ORAN solutions, please visit platform.radioverse.com. And for more information on any of Keysight's ODU emulator or OpenRAN Studio, please visit keysight.com/oran.